Hello, everybody. We are at the top of the hour. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We are at the Small School Districts Association Virtual College Fair powered by StriveScan. My name is Sabelle Rasim. I'll be your facilitator for today's session. We have some amazing institutions that are here to tell you a little bit about themselves. Uh, this is kind of an appetizer, right, to the bigger dinner uh, of the full scheme of things. So it is going to be a pretty quick session here, but at the same time, this is just to make sure that you are super interested and then can follow up with them after this session. So a couple things before we get started with all the fun we got going on in this virtual college fair, a few housekeeping items. First and foremost, we encourage questions. Go ahead and answer, or um, I'm sorry, go ahead and put your questions in, in the Q&A button in your Zoom toolbar. If you have any questions, do not wait until the last minute because we only have 45 minutes on the clock. And so our presenters wanna get to your questions. So please make sure that you are uh, putting in those questions in the Q&A at any point in time. Now also uh, make sure you, that you put the institution's name within the question so we all know who the question goes to. Uh, also, your camera and microphone are turned off so the panelists cannot see or hear you, and that is why it's super important to make sure you interact with us through that Q&A and ask us those questions. Your chat is disabled on your end, but fun fact, our presenters may be putting in some uh, contact information or links that they want you to check out in the chat. So if you do see a notification in the chat, please feel free to check it out, okay? Uh, also, a couple other things here sign up for more sessions. This is one of many, many college presentations that are offered today. We do have more um, sessions happening for the next time slot. So go ahead and sign up for those. Uh, and last but not least, maybe mom missed out on today, or maybe you know you have a friend that wants to check out these schools with you, or maybe you just wanna relive the fun. You could do that because the recording will be available within the next few business days. All sessions are being recorded and are available at strivescan.com backslash SSDA. With that said, I would love to get started. Our first institution up for today is Eckerd College. All right, hello everybody. I'm just getting this screen share figured out. I think it's working now. Uh, my name is Cody Gartner. I'm an admission counselor at Eckerd College. Uh, for those of you who are not familiar with us, we are a smaller liberal arts school in St. Petersburg, Florida. Um, this is an overview of what our campus looks like. It's not very big. It pretty much outlines everywhere on this peninsula that doesn't have these pink roofs. Um, oh, all right. I think I'm good on video now. Um, so just to give you an idea of a little bit of who's at Eckerd, um, this is what our geographic reach looks like. This is one of the more unique things about our campus. Um, we actually only have about 20% of our students come from in-state within Florida. Um, and our average distance from home is about a thousand miles away. Um, so a lot of different people come from different places in the US across the world to come to Eckerd. Um, it's very likely that any roommates you have will not be from your home state. Uh, so it's a really good way to meet new people, kind of have that new start at, uh, at a smaller college. Um, because of that, a lot of our students do choose to live on campus all four years. Um, so about 90% of our students stay living on campus and don't move off to off-campus apartments or houses or anything after their first year. Um, just to give you an idea of some of our majors, this is our comprehensive list. Uh, some of our more popular majors are marine science. We're one of the top 10 schools in the country for marine science, uh, environmental studies, psychology, um, uh, creative writing and international business. Um, some of our newer majors are animal studies, uh, marketing, and our two plus two theater program with Circle in the Square uh, Theater School in New York. Um, so one of the more unique things about Ecker College is we have one of the longer orientation periods in the country. Um, so it's only first year students on campus for the first three weeks of school. Um, and this usually takes place during the month of August. Uh, students take a full class during those three weeks um, so they get, you know, more in the swing of things of having a roommate, going to class, having homework and everything before the rest of the students come back to campus. Um, so they do have a grade by the time they do register for their full semester classes. Um, that professor that you have for your first uh, course during autumn term is uh, your mentor for your first year. So you'll have a meeting with them while you're already on campus and they'll help you figure out your schedule for your first semester. Um, so you already have academic advising before you register for your classes. Once you officially declare your major, then you uh, are assigned a mentor who's from that discipline. So a professor from that field uh, who will help you more with like internships, jobs, higher level classes, grad school, um, pretty much everything you need within your major. Um, our student to faculty ratio is about 13 to one. So our mentors get to know their students very well. 
um, you know, very small class sizes. You're going to get to know the professors um, really well. Uh, I think our largest class on campus is about 50 students, um, but mostly they're in like the 10 to 20 range. Um, so just to give you an idea of what it's like on campus, this is a picture of our on-campus beach. Um, you might notice a dog in there. We are a pet friendly campus. So uh, a lot of students who come to Eckerd uh, will bring their dogs, cats, anything from home, uh, and they can have them in the dorms. Uh, and a lot of people like to be outdoorsy, go to the beach. Uh, we do have a waterfront uh, boathouse on campus. So um, you can check out kayaks, paddle boards, windsurfers, sailboats. Uh, they do wakeboarding trips every day. So it's definitely uh, a place for people who like to be outside. Uh, our motto is think outside. So you'll see people doing homework on the beach out on the field all the time. Um, we really encourage our students to be outside as much as possible. So now for the fun stuff, uh, application requirements, we are available on the common application. Um, so you can submit either that or our Eckerd application. We don't prefer one over the other. It's all the same information. Um, along with the application itself, we do need your official high school transcripts. Uh, we are test optional for the next two years. And then we are gonna reevaluate if we're gonna keep uh, going with that. Um, so if you want to submit ACT or SAT scores, if you think they'll strengthen your application, um, go ahead, we'd love to see them. But if you don't wanna submit them, that's fine as well. Um, and then we also need at least one letter of recommendation from an academic source. Uh, so teacher, counselor, someone who can speak to your academics. We will also accept additional letters if they're from non-academic uh, people who know you. So like maybe sports coaches, someone you babysat for, someone you worked for. Um, we love to see it all. We just need to see at least one academic uh, recommendation. Uh, we do have an application fee waiver until December 1st. And we also have an early action deadline. Uh, which is November 15th. This is not early decision. Um, so it's non-binding. It's just applying early to hear back early. So if you do hit that November 15th deadline uh, with all your application materials, you'll hear back by December 15th. Um, if you miss that deadline, it's not a big deal. We would just go to rolling admission and then you'll hear back three to four weeks after we get all your application materials. Um, so we are a private school in Florida. Our total comprehensive fees, room, board, tuition, um, and student fees are about $61,000 per year. Uh, right there on the screen, this is our average aid award is $36,810 per student. Most of the students who come to Eckerd receive scholarships or, uh, and or financial aid. Um, so that's the average that a student's looking at uh, for coming. That's why I encourage people to apply by the early action deadline so they can hear back about scholarships, hear back about financial aid um earlier you know than some other schools uh, and still be able to get their FAFSA and get a lot of information uh, early. Um, we do determine our federal uh, need-based student aid through the FAFSA so um, fafsa.gov that's right at the bottom that's our code um, if you want you could google it later it's everywhere on the internet. Um, so uh, this is an organization that Ecker College is part of uh, New College is also a member of the colleges that change lives um, so if you're still early in your college process looking for new schools, this is a great resource to look at. Um, if you're looking for schools that might be a little bit different than the traditional big college experience, um, just gives you, you know, a few more options to check out. And I think I just made it just on time. Awesome. Thank you so, so much. If anyone has any questions for Eckerd College, please put it in the Q&A down at the bottom. Next up, we have New College of Florida. Hi, everybody. Uh, this is Sharon. Can you all hear me? Okay. We can hear you, Sharon. Okay, good. Okay, great. Okay, I'm going to share my screen too. Um, so we can start. All right, here we go. New College of Florida is the honors college for the state of Florida. We are public, we're part of the state university system of Florida. So in the same family of schools you may have heard of like University of Florida, FSU, UCF, there's 12 of us. Um, we are by far the most unique of the bunch. Um, like Cody mentioned, we are part of the colleges that change lives. We are, um, we are smaller size than a, a traditional large university. We have 800 students total. We are, um, so it feels like a private school, but it's public. So we'll talk about that later as far as what that means, uh, as far as tuition and, and so forth. We are located in Sarasota, which is about 45 minutes south of where Eckerd is in St. Pete. So we're on the, on the Gulf Coast, um, right on the water. So it's uh, 
quite beautiful on, on campus. Uh, we are a residential campus as well. And 75% of our students live on campus for four years. We um, are, since we are a, a smaller college, we do have smaller size classes as well. We have a seven to one student faculty ratio and average class size is 12 students. Um, every student will be uh, matched to um, an academic advisor and all of our advisors are our professors. So our professors teach all of their classes. I uh, will never have a TA teaching a class here and the faculty mentor all of our students. So it's very personalized. Um, we're purely undergraduate students, except for one graduate program that we have in data science and our newly uh, created um, dual program with University of Florida for engineering. We also um, have different certificate programs if you're interested to add on to your curriculum. Uh, for example, Bloomberg Market Concepts, Financial Analysts, um, Geography um, Institute Skills, and different uh, and digital media. So those are more uh, skilled towards careers um, in those areas. But we also have a career mentorship with each um, with each student that starts at New College. We'll also have a career mentor to help you reach your goals and help you search for your professional uh, development throughout your college career to get you ready for those jobs when you graduate. Or also, if you want to go on to professional schools, graduate school, med schools, law schools, we'll get you ready for those as well. Um, these are our majors. Um, we have about 45 different majors. Um, many students double major, some minor, that's possible. Um, we do have a very flexible curriculum, so you, you can also create your own course, which is called a tutorial. Those are self-designed courses. So if there's a course that you don't see in our course catalog and you want to study something specific, you can actually speak with the professor and uh, help them, uh, ask them to help you with this course and how to create the, the syllabus and, and so forth. So for example, we had a student um, who's studying psychology who wanted to study social media in, and how relationships um, evolve through Facebook. So we didn't have a course on that. So he approached a psychology professor and they worked together to create a course. Um, he read, he did surveys, he did uh, research, he wrote papers and he received credit. So that's just an example of how creative it can be. Our, some of our top majors are marine biology, uh, political science, uh, pre-med, uh, pre-law, I would say um, theater, we have a full theater and dance major, which is pretty cool, but we have languages and history and art and computer science. Um, so there's a lot to choose from. This is an example of one of our marine science classes. Our professor, uh, Jane Gardner, right there in the t-shirt, um, is right on the water. We have a boat dedicated to the program. So they're in the Gulf, uh, tagging dolphins, tagging sharks, doing coral reef ecology. Um, and we also have a, a marine science lab on campus. And students also tend to do internships at the Moat Marine Science Aquarium and Research Laboratory right in Sarasota. Our cost of attendance, uh, keep in mind that we are public. We're part of the State University System of Florida. So if you are a Florida resident, you will receive in-state tuition, which as you can see is amazing. Uh, just under $7,000 a year for tuition fees for in-state residents. Um, this is before scholarships. Out of state residents, um, you'll see the tuitions uh, about a little under 30,000, but we give you a $15,000 a year scholarship for um, if you're out of state student, you apply, you're admitted, you get the out of state scholarship. Um, so that's uh, one of the reasons why we're we've been named one of the best buys in um, in national in nationally um, throughout the country. Um, these are some of our students who have, are working uh, well with the COVID situation. Um, we've had very little cases. It's it's gone very well. We hope to be um, fully operational on campus in person in the fall. Um, that's our hope. We're hoping everyone will be able to get vaccinated and so forth um, to go back to our in-person campus. These are our, some of our freshman dorms, uh, which are called the Pay Dorms, and they're named after I am Pay, who's the architect who um, also built the Louvre um, Triangle in uh, Paris, as well as the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in Cleveland. He um, built our dorms, which is kind of cool. So uh, these dorms are shared with one or two people. And oh, I think my time's up. Uh, another example of the dorms, uh, graduation. Uh, our students don't wear cap and gown. They wear costumes. They wear 
creative outfits, whatever they do, they, they just, they're just themselves. It's a very uh, eclectic group of students, very artistic, creatively, and so forth. So these are, <laughs> here's, here's our president knighting one of our graduates. Uh, again, the costumes are traditional thing. Everyone kind of does what they want to do uh, and their own, uh, their own people. So that's New College in a nutshell. Please feel free to uh, ask any questions. I appreciate your time. Awesome, thank you so much. If you have any questions for New College of Florida, go ahead and put it in the Q&A in your Zoom toolbar. All right, next up we have Belmont University. Hello, thank you so much for joining us. My name is Lily Scott and I am so excited to share Belmont University with you all here in Nashville, Tennessee. So here is my contact information and all of our counselors are here ready to answer any questions that you may have. We are here to help you navigate through the process. Now, if you have never seen our campus, never been to Nashville, here is a picture of where we are. We are less than two miles from downtown Nashville. And as you can see, our campus is pretty compact. It only takes 10 to 15 minutes to walk from one end of campus to the other. And we have so many great options for our students all over campus. Students can live on campus. About 60% of our students live on campus all four years. I am coming to you live from my office right here uh, on one end of campus. So we don't have any major streets running through the middle of campus, but we're in a really great location. So lots of fun walkable places that our students can go to. Just to share some general information with you all about the university, we are a medium-sized Christian institution here in Nashville. What's great about being a medium-sized school is that we have all of the resources of being a bigger school, but still our average class size is only 19 students. So having this is such a great option for our students to have those personal relationships with their professors. We have a 14 to one student to faculty ratio. So here at Belmont, you would never have a class where you're in a massive auditorium of 400 people. You're going to have those small class sizes. We have about 8,200 total students, so about 6,630 undergraduate students. We have students from every state and over 28 countries, and over 67% of our students come from outside of Tennessee. Now, in this six by six fair, I want to share the top six things to know about Belmont. So to kick us off, Nashville. Nashville is a booming, growing city. There are so many great opportunities that are available to our students being here in this big city. So we like to think that downtown Nashville, that the city is our students' playground. So there's so many great ways that our students can be involved in the city to have internships, that you're getting that real world experience. So Nashville is known as Music City. We are right here by Music Row. We are also the healthcare capital of the United States. So three fourths of the nation's hospitals are serviced in some way by a company out of Nashville. Belmont is so excited to be out into the healthcare industry we are opening a college of medicine here in the next couple of years. So we're so excited to be adding a med school to our offerings. We are also a fashion capital. So we're the third largest city with the most fashion industry based headquarters here in Nashville. We are a liberal arts institution. So what does that mean? We want our students to be well-rounded. So we want our students to have lots of different experiences in different areas and not just one specific concentration. We have over 100 different academic programs that are spread out over nine academic colleges. Each year we continue to add new majors, which is so exciting. We have lots of pre-professional programs and grad programs. We have several different programs that we continue to add with a four plus one or three plus three program, which will cut down on your time in school. We have lots of great support services available to our students from free counseling services to tutoring to our Office of Career and Professional Development, lots of resources for our students. We also have lots of study abroad and study away programs. So about a thousand students a year go on one of our programs across the world. Now I want to share some of our top majors with you. Here are the top 10 majors by size, most popular. So those top three are going to be music business, nursing and audio engineering technology. So like I mentioned, we do continue to add new programs each year, which is so exciting. So just to give you a little bit of an idea of some of those major offerings. The next thing I want to talk about is that we are a Christian university. If you are interested in growing and pursuing your faith during your time at college, 
We have so many ways that you can get involved optionally. We welcome students of all faith backgrounds or no faith backgrounds. So students do not have to be Christian to come to Belmont. We do have two required religion courses that our students take. And there's, if you are interested, there's lots of other ways to get involved here at Belmont. I want to talk a little bit about the admissions process. So we are test optional for both 2021 and 2022. So there is equal consideration for both scholarship and admission, regardless of whether or not you send in a test score to us. So we'll need that official application through bu for you our online portal, or through the Common App, your official high school transcript, a school counselor letter recommendation. And then if you would like, you can send in test scores to us. When you apply to Belmont, your application for admission also counts as your application for scholarship consideration. So you'll be automatically considered for any and all merit scholarships that you might be eligible for. For need-based aid, we encourage our families to file the FAFSA, the Free Application for Federal Student Aid, to be considered for need-based aid. Want to talk a little bit too about visiting campus. We are doing in-person visits. We've been open for in-person visits since last June. We would love for you to come and see campus. We are being very careful to abide by all of the local restrictions for COVID to keep everyone safe, but we have options in person and also virtually as well. So we would love for you to check out, do a virtual tour, come in person, lots of great options. Thank you so much for coming and joining us this afternoon, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Thank you. All right, fantastic. Thank you so much. If you have any questions for Belmont University, please put it in the Q&A. Next up, we have University of Memphis. Hello, everyone. My name is Sammy Morris, and I am the admissions counselor for the University of Memphis. So I'll go ahead and start the presentation. We'll get it to load. That would be nice. Oh, come on. There we go. All right. So just a little bit about where we're from. So we are located in Memphis, Tennessee, which is right along the Mississippi River. And it, you're in a metro population with about 1.2 million people. So there's going to be some things to do inside of the city of Memphis. So you get to see our beautiful uh, downtown skyline right there. We're home to some Fortune 500 companies like FedEx, AutoZone, and International Paper. We're also a very extensive medical hub with St. Jude, which does amazing things for childhood cancer research, and even Bonner Hospital. Uh, and there's a lot of different things that you can do. If you're a fan of basketball, you can go to the Grizzlies games. Uh, you can go to Redbirds games. You can see different types of concerts throughout the duration of the year. Uh, you can visit historic Beale Street. There's going to be a lot to do in the city of Memphis. So on to the University of Memphis. So here are some fast facts about the university. Uh, for fall 2020, we had close to 22,000 students, so a fairly large public institution. Uh, we have a very diverse student population. We're diverse in where we're from, our socioeconomic background, racial background, religious background, all those different types of backgrounds you can get at the University of Memphis. Uh, the student faculty ratio is at 15 to one. 16% are from out of the state of Tennessee and 79 countries are represented uh, here at the University of Memphis. And if you are a first generation college student, uh, you also have a little over a third that is with you on the same boat. We're also known as a multi-campus institution. So we have our main campus in Memphis, Tennessee, but we also have our Lambeth campus in Jackson, Tennessee. So there's a few options for that. So if you want that large school, school feel or even that small school feel, we somehow offer both here at the University of Memphis. So we have 55 different majors across 250 areas of study. So if you don't see your desired major on here, don't worry, we have over 250 that you can also choose from. Uh, certainly known with the healthcare industry and business industry, but uh, we also have an excellent music program. Engineering is also a very, um, a very great program. And these are just some of the ones that we are known for. So um, if you don't see your major again, don't worry. Uh, we certainly have plenty of other ones as well. So what do students do here? So there's over 355 student organizations, including fraternity and sorority life, different types of religious groups, multicultural organizations, and getting involved with the community and even the community outside of the, the city of Memphis. 
Um, I'm a big fan of sports, so I can talk about Tiger athletics for the rest of the presentation if you want. But um, we are uh, competing at the Division I level. We recently won the NIT for basketball. Uh, and students get to attend games completely free of charge, no matter the sport. Uh, internships were consistently ranked in the top 10 per U.S. World News and Report for internship placement. Uh, we're also home to the largest honors college in the state of Tennessee. Uh, students also get very involved with intramural and club sports. So if you are a very competitive person, that would be very, that, that could be an avenue for you. Gets very competitive for a t-shirt and different types of study abroad opportunities. We've been to over 60 different countries uh, with 200 plus programs in our study abroad office. All right, so this is a breakdown of some scholarships. So for in-state tuition, for the entire year, you're looking close to $10,000. For my out-of-state folks, uh, you're looking close to uh, close to $1,400 or, or yeah, $14,000, I should say, uh, for the entire year. So these are some of our, just the tip of the iceberg in terms of some scholarships. There are merit-based ones, which you don't have to apply for. Um, so for my out-of-state folks, you would actually get an $1,000 additional on top of um like the presidential and the provost. Um, so it's all dependent on that. Don't, don't have to apply for it. But for ones that you can apply for, there's departmental scholarships. So these are just three of the 700 plus scholarship opportunities here at the University of Memphis. Um, the Emerging Leaders is certainly an excellent one. And the social change requirement is a 2.5 and that, that's it, along with the application and interview process. Um, so that's just a little bit about our financial aid and scholarships. Now, if this all sounds good to you, I'll talk about the admissions process. So we have our own set University of Memphis application. Uh, it's a holistic review. We don't have an established minimum GPA or minimum ACT, but we do offer the averages to give you an idea of what we are looking for. And we will review your high school transcript, your ACT or SAT scores. And if you've taken AP or dual enrollment credit, you can also send that our way so it can count towards your degree. Uh, and I want to thank you guys for my presentation, um, for coming to my presentation. That is my email down below if you have any additional questions about the University of Memphis. Go Tigers. All right. Awesome. Thank you so much. If you have any questions for University of Memphis, please put it in the Q&A in your Zoom toolbar. Next up, we have Greensboro College. Hello. How is everybody doing today? Uh, it's so good to be here to share about my college. My name is Michaela Jean Calder. I am the admissions counselor here representing our beautiful campus. Uh, so the first question, let's begin. Who are we? What is Greensboro College? So we are a private four-year liberal arts college. We were actually established in 1838 as an all-women's college. We love that history background. Um, we talk about it all the time. Fun fact, the first graduation class is um, uh, six young women uh, on June 18th for 1848. Um, and we continue to grow and adapt uh, throughout these uh, whole bunch of years. Um, also, I wanted to let you guys know that we are the third largest city in North Carolina. Uh, I love the location. The location is key. We are three hours to the beach and two hours in the mountains. As you can tell, we are very, very close to downtown. Our campus is right up here, as you can see, and right downtown is uh, Greensboro. Uh, so what you can think about in downtown is all of our uh, connections and opportunities that are right um, across campus. Uh, we have internships opportunities downtown, uh, we have businesses, we have cultural um, experiences, uh, you have entertainment, art. Uh, another great thing you can go look at is our Civil Rights Museum uh, located in the downtown strip. So, um, and our students actually take, a, um, take that and use it with their internships. So 99% of our students uh, complete their internships within downtown, within our college, and also uh, locations around our college as well. So all those opportunities are right at your doorstep where we are located. A little bit about our college. So again, just like everybody else, we are a very, very small college. 
we are a nine to one student faculty ratio. What does that mean? That means that we have more of a one on one connection. Our average class size is 12. So think about it, 12 people in your class, um, super small, which means obviously you are more than just a number. Those professors are gonna know you. They're gonna know your name. They're gonna know if you're late. They're gonna know a lot about everything. They might know even know your dog's name. So take advice. That's a great opportunity to have and have that one-on-one -on -one connection with your professor. Another great thing about Greensboro College is that we have many clubs and activities here, including our 19 sports teams. I love our sports teams and our coaches. They're great. We do have, we do compete on a USA South Conference in Division Three level. Um, we love that we just added on to our uh, teams as a woman uh, wrestling. Um, they are amazing. We have two actually in the team and they compete as well. So we are one of the first uh, colleges that um, opened up this team and as a woman's college or a woman's team. So that is something that's unique about Greensboro College. So right now I'm going to list out the five different uh, schools here for the academic um, academic schools within Greensboro College. The first one is School of Art. So if you think about it, that means our art, our art majors, music, theater, all of those are located in that uh, school. The second one is School of Business, uh, which is like accounting, business. Uh, the third one, School of Humanities. Um, a little bit about humanities is English, English and communications, where religion, we have history and such. The fourth one, is the School of Science and Mathematics. So biology, um, chemistry, exercise and sports studies is one of our major ones um, in mathematics. And then the last one is our education majors, criminal justice, um, our psychology, our sociology, stuff like that is in our fifth one. Those are just the list of schools. We have a handful of majors. We actually have 67 majors and minors. So we have a whole bunch that you can choose from uh, out of these categories. So what is UDL? Universal Design for Learning. So Greensboro College has committed to adapt to your curriculum uh, for your learning needs. Um, so this is something that's new. We wanted to continue on uh, years um, down the road that all our professors have adapted and are learning uh, different techniques to help and grow your learning environments into a more positive. You may learn on more hands-on, so that professor is going to change into more hands-on. Uh, we're going to adapt to you because we want you to succeed here at Greensboro College. Um, so why not? So why not apply today? So What's stopping you? We have a free application online. Uh, all you have to do is go on our website and apply, and we will just need an official or unofficial transcript. We will ask for an official transcript once you graduate, if you are a senior. But for right now, if you have an unofficial, just go ahead and send that on our way. And then we just need your test scores. Now with COVID, we adapted, and now we have a test optional essay requirement unless you wanted to send your test scores in. So those are the only requirements for Greensboro College. So this is a little bit about our financial aid, scholarships and grants are available. We ask you to fill out your FAFSA. Here's our code, so go ahead and fill out. And here's my contact information. Please contact me if you have any other questions about Greensboro. Thank you. Awesome, thank you so, so much. If you have any questions for Greensboro College, please put it in the Q&A in your Zoom toolbar. All right, last but certainly not least, we have UNC Pembroke. Welcome everybody. My name is Elijah Mebbins. I'm an admission counselor here in our undergraduate admissions office here at UNC Pembroke. Um, I just wanted to kind of give you guys a brief introduction about UNC Pembroke. Um, we are in a historically Native American campus. So that's something that makes us unique and stand out within the UNC system. Um, we're located in Pembroke, North Carolina, which is about 45 minutes from Fayetteville, North Carolina, about two hours from Raleigh, North Carolina, and about an hour and 15 minutes from the beach as well. Just to name a few fun facts about our campus, as you can see here, we have 
a really pretty medium-sized campus here at UNC Pembroke. We have about 8,300 students here on campus, about 6,500 undergraduate students and about 1,800 graduate students. Um, we also have a pretty small student to faculty ratio being 18 to one. And our average class sizes really stick between 20 and 25 students. Um, we really heavily push those small class sizes to uh, make sure that our students are building those um, close connections with their faculty members and other students on campus to kind of use those to um, their advantage when jumping into their career field and, and being able to kind of network and make those connections prior to graduating as well. Um, you can see that we do also have 41 undergraduate degree programs here at UNC Pembroke. Some of our popular programs are our business administration, um, psychology, criminal justice, our sciences like your biologies and chemistries, and then also our nursing, which is a pretty top program um, within the UNC system as well. Um, we also have some graduate programs, 18 graduate programs. Some of those that are pretty, pretty popular are our master's in business administration, master's in social work, and then of course our master's in nursing as well. Um, UNC Pembroke, we also like to push diversity here at the university. We are an extremely diverse campus here at UNCP. Um, you can see our diversity breakdown in the bottom right, but we are one of the top diverse um, schools within the UNC system and also in North Carolina as well. We always encourage our students here at UNC Pembroke to get involved. Um, these are pretty, uh, a couple of different fashions in which our students can get involved here at UNC Pembroke. So first and foremost, you can see we have uh, about 16 athletic sports here on campus. So you can see our men's and our women's athletic sports there. Now we are a division two NCAA athletics uh, sports conference. So um, if you are interested in maybe competing at a high level, you are able to um, here at UNC Pembroke. And then also we have over a hundred clubs and organizations, whether those are interest-based clubs, religious-based clubs, or also um, academic-based clubs that students are able to get involved in. And then outside of that, you also have living and learning communities, which allow our students to structure together to uh, use them as a different, as additional resources when working um, in and outside of the classroom on academic work. And then also you have your study abroad programs, which allow our students to travel the world and, and be able to kind of get a different um, learning experience while they are um, participating within their degree. Now, I also wanted to talk a little bit about NC Promise. NC Promise is a huge tuition reduction that we have here at UNC Pembroke. So when we talk about UNC Pembroke, we always like to mention affordability. So obtaining that degree and, and doing it in an affordable way as well. So you can see that our NC Promise brings down our tuition to $500 per semester for our in-state students and about $2,500 per semester for our out-of-state students. So you can see our tuition portion for our in-state and out-of-state students on the bottom right, as well as our fees, our room and board, and then our health insurance as well. Also, we like to always talk about money and how you can pay for school. Now, we have multiple fashions and multiple ways that students can pay for school while they're attending. Um, you have your Bravest Scholarship Portal, which is a one-stop one -stop shop scholarship portal that allows students to complete like a general application. And when they complete that general application, it'll actually um, automatically apply those students to any um, scholarships that they may be applicable for. So that's a pretty easy way to kind of apply for tons and tons of scholarships that we have here at UNC Pembroke. Considering we have over 250 scholarships, um, it's an easy way to kind of knock out those scholarship applications without um, going to each and every one and individually applying for those as well. Um, we also have our merit-based scholarships, which are given out of our Office of Undergraduate Admissions. Now, we have three different levels of merit-based scholarships, and those are, of course, based upon your academic performance in high school as well. And then last but not least, you also have your FAFSA, which is your free application for federal student aid, which you can also apply for to receive additional aid for paying for school. This is just a quick little roadmap to um, describe what our application process is like and to kind of give you a little bit more detail about that as well. So our application is entirely online. We have an online application on our website at uncp.edu slash apply. Um, once you get to that website, you'll create a bridge to bridge portal, which will not only allow you to submit your application, but also track your application to inform you what materials are currently needed. And then also will inform you of your decision when it is finalized within our office as well. Um, we're not currently requiring any students um, this upcoming 2021 year and also to 2022 um, fall. We're not going to be requiring any SAT or ACT test scores, so we have become a test optional university. So that's one less requirement that you do have to worry about when applying to UNC Pembroke. But also we encourage students to submit all academic transcripts so that we can evaluate those properly. And then also to complete your residency determination, which allows us to properly give you in-state or out-of-state tuition as well. 
Um, and then at that point, you'll then decide your major and that does not lock you in throughout the four years. So you're able to change your major throughout any time at the university because I know students, personally, I have changed my major a couple of times as, a, as an alumni here at UNC Pembroke. And it's something that we kind of allow our students to do as well. And then of course, we'll be here with open arms to welcome you into Brain Nation. Uh, just to give you a little bit of information about our career and how we help students get into the career, um, you'll start here at UNC Pembroke by gaining knowledge. Now we are a liberal arts university, so you'll be taking a, a tons of classes, including your gen eds, that will make you a well-rounded student here at UNC Pembroke as well. And then you'll begin participating in different campus life engagement and involvement activities, whether it's clubs, organizations, or even community service that we have here on campus. And then at that point, you'll follow up with uh, getting experience within your field, whether it's completing internships, studying abroad, doing academic research here on campus, or just getting involved within your career field as well. And then, of course, at that time, you'll be near graduation and, and kind of earn that degree from UNC Pembroke. And then you also meet with our Career Center prior to graduating from the university. So the Career Center does a great job on making sure our students, first and foremost, will find a job after graduation. So um, the Career Center has a 92% success rate on making sure that our students either are graduating and obtaining a job within their career field right after graduation or also going into graduate school as well. I just wanted to kind of say those things to give you a little more information about you and Pembroke. We hope you guys choose to be a brave, uh, go Braves. And if you guys have any questions whatsoever, you can always feel free to reach out to me. Here's my information, my email and my office number. Definitely feel free to reach out to us here at UNC Pembroke and always follow us on social media as well, where we'll have tons and tons of more information and events posted as well. Awesome. Thank you so, so much, Elijah. If you have any questions for UNC Pembroke, this is now your time. We are at the end of the session coming up here. Uh, I want to invite our panelists back on video um, to help me wrap up the session here. Once again, if you have any last minute burning questions, feel free to get the contact information down of our presenters and panelists today so you can follow up after this virtual college fair. Uh, with that said, though, my panelists and presenters, I want to thank you all so much for being here. Thank you for sharing some amazing information about your institutions. My attendees, thank you so much for joining. Really appreciate it. But also, uh, I hope you learned a lot of great stuff because I know I definitely did. And please make sure, again, you know, understand that this is just an appetizer, right? So there's a lot more to learn about these institutions. And it's really important that you go ahead and, and follow up with them if you're interested. Uh, really, really quickly before you head out, after you close this window, a very quick four question survey will appear. Go ahead and give us some feedback. Also sign up for more sessions. We do have more sessions going on uh, in the next time slot. So go ahead and check those out. And last but not least, also a recording will be available of this at strivescan.com backslash SSDA in the next coming business day. So if you missed out on the fun, you are more than welcome to go ahead and relive it. All right, you all. Well, with that said, thank you all again so, so much. I hope you have a great day. Bye, everybody.